Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, this um, is kind of a surprise purchase for me. I was at Target, just doing Target stuff, you know, shopping like usual. And I was in the movie section, I was just looking around, and I saw this, this little set here for, I think it was $14.99 or $15.99. It was not very expensive. And this says here, it says, um, uh, Mr. Rogers Neighborhood, It's a Beautiful Day Collection, it includes 30 classic episodes from 1979 to 2001. One, I didn't realize this show lasted that long which is awesome. And I did not realize that they put out, like, actual... Before I, I guess stupidly, I didn't think they actually put out these episodes anywhere. Like, I thought that you had to get them online or something. On PBS. Because this is a PBS program. And I thought, well, that's cool. I was just in a, in, a, in a good mood, I guess, at the time. And I thought, you know what? I want to... I want some Mr. Rogers in my life. Now, I watched the show a little bit when I was growing up. But I was not, like, a huge... I didn't watch it a lot. You know, I watched, like... Sesame Street, that kind of stuff when I was growing up, but, um, Mr. Rogers was just a wholesome character, and, um, for whatever reason, I felt like 15 bucks, it deserved my, my time, and it's PBS, so it's probably, it's, um, you know, buying the stuff helps them, and I thought, what the fuck, why not? Yeah, thank you, your purchase supports quality of PBS programming, and, um, Mr. Rogers was, um, really a once-in-a-lifetime kind of person, and, uh, I don't know, I just felt like I needed to buy it. Because I've spent 15 bucks on way worse shit, so I thought, why not? At the very least, to support uh, PBS. And I actually, and there's probably a lot of episodes here that I haven't seen, and I'm just kind of curious to see how they, they've aged. And uh, yeah, so I guess I could, I guess I could read this in the back here. Um, let's see what they say. The bonus: the series premiere in original black and white back in 2000, not 2000. I think he, his show started in the 60s, I thought, but I guess it's 79. We're looking at here. The Fred Rogers Company. This is from 2018, too. Actually, it's, it's recent. Cool. Okay, let's go through this quickly. It's always a beautiful day in Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. Through his daily television visits, generations of kids have grown up with Mr. Rogers as their friend. Kind and gentle, Mr. Rogers created a calm, safe space where all children were welcome. Filled with real-life guests, interesting field trips, and charming make-believe segments, each episode of Mr. Rogers Neighborhood encouraged kids to explore the world around them, learning about themselves and their communities. This special set celebrates the 50th anniversary of the beloved Mr. Rogers Neighborhood television show. Uh, watch as Mr. Rogers helps children learn the importance of being kind to others, appreciating what makes everyone unique, recycling, and taking care of our planet, and much more in these 30 memorable episodes of the classic series. See, all these things that are so important that, you know, back in the late 70s and early 80s, he was talking about even then. So I'll open it up. I guess there's not probably not much to show here. I'm guessing it's just the discs. It's four, yeah, four discs. Oh, is this busted? No, just came on. Uh, there's disc one, disc two, disc three, oh, and disc four there. Cool. And there's a pamphlet here, but it's for more PBS stuff. Let's see what they got here. They've got Pole Dark, Downton Abbey. I do have that set. Is that the complete series? I had that set somewhere. Uh, I haven't watched a second of this fucking show, but I, I have the set, because that's the way I am. Victoria, Endeavor, The Durrells in Cornfu. I don't know what the fuck that is. Grant Chester, Vietnam War, and that just aired, I think, a few months ago. That's Kim Burns. That's apparently very good, too. I would, I would watch that. Eyes on the Prize, Bill Nye the Science Guy. Are those actual, like, old episodes? That'd be kind of cool. I've heard his new stuff isn't as good, but though his old episodes were fucking choice. They were great. Uh, Rare Creatures of the Photo Arc. The Great British Baking The Great British Baking Show. This is like like blowing up recently. I don't know what's going on with that. It's been on for a while, I think, though. The story of cats. A bunch of PBS shows. Which is cool. And then they've got the episode breakdowns here. Uh, helping children know what to expect at school, creating with friends is different than playing alone, 
play is the work of a ch work of childhood, respecting all living creatures, ups and downs of friendship, learning about rules and limits, appreciating the people who came before. And I'll just kind of look at lots of different things to play and presenting. Nobody knows what you're thinking unless you tell them. Hmm. Kings can be fun, but not if you're left out. Trying on different roles. We all have art inside of us, uh, the strength of love, even through angry times, appreciating our uniqueness. Obviously, you can just take a look at all of them if you want. I'm just reading a couple of them. Some things change, some things stay the same. Needing help and giving help, feeling good about who we are. Strength and limitations, abilities and disabilities. I'm talking about disabilities too, huh? And valuing all kinds of art. And then he says, bonus, the first episode, the first program, Black and white, in the very first episode, Mr. Rogers enters his, his coat and changes into his sweater. Shows the viewers around his house and sends the trolley into the neighborhood of make believe. I remember that, the trolley in the make believe. I watched the show when I did. It's very cool. Let's just keep this just because. Just to have it. Very cool thing. I did not expect to get anything like this, but that's neat. Lots of episodes. The show was on for a while. It's probably a lot more than 30 episodes. Hundreds of episodes. I don't know. It just seems like a cool thing to get. I've been watching, um... Uh, what's his name? Uh, the Joy of Painting Guy, Bob Ross, recently, on Netflix, before I go to bed. And it's just, it's so calming, and I just love his presence. And I thought, it's got a Mr. Rogers vibe, but not in the same way, obviously. But, uh, I don't know. That same time period with educational programming. Which is so cool. But anyway... Like I said, I got this at to Target for 15 bucks, and I think it's about 15 bucks everywhere. So, I, I guess I can't necessarily recommend it, but I, it's Mr. Rogers, so I recommend watching Mr. Rogers because everyone should. So, thanks for watching, guys. It's a different one than I usually get, but uh, this is still cool, though. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around.